we're going to go ahead and explore Excel's uh, present value uh, and future value rate and number of periods function. The time value money functions in Excel are much like those in your financial calculator. Let's begin by exploring the present value function. Again, to launch the function wizard, we can click FX. Um, we have a category of financial calc uh, functions. Let's scroll down the list till we find the present value function. Click OK. And now we're going to have fields for our rate, which we're going to want to enter in cell B6. The number of periods, we've got 20 periods. The payment field, we will put zero. Our payments deal with a series of equal cash flows. That'll be annuities. That's a topic in Chapter 6. But for now, we've got zero for our payment. And for our future value, we'll put in negative 10,000. Again, a negative amount because we'll want a positive value for our present value. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And we find the present value of a $10,000 cash flow to receive 20 years from now at a 10% interest would be $1,486. Instead of putting the negative directly in front of the 10,000, alternatively, obviously, we could have also done the following. Again, to get to function, we'll go equals PV, parenthesis, our rate, comma, number of periods, comma, zero for the payment, comma, future value, close parenthesis, and see we've got a negative amount for our present value. We could have also easily come right here after the equal sign in front of the PV. In fact, we could have, instead of the equal, we could have just had negative PV, hit enter, and we've got a positive amount. Let's go ahead and look at the um, future value function. Let's uh, find the future value of an initial investment today of $500 for 20 periods at an interest rate of 10%. Equals FV, parenthesis, and again, if you wanted to pop up the function wizard, we can now at this point hit the FX button. Our rate was 10%. The number of periods was 20. Our payment, again, payments are dealing with annuities, and we're talking about a single cash flow, so put zero for payment. And let's put negative link to sell uh, B14 that has our $500 as our present value, and we can hit OK. And we see that $500 investment will grow to a future value of $3,363.75. Let's go ahead and use Excel's rate function to solve for an unknown interest rate equals R-A-T-E, parenthesis, and again we've got our fields, first one is our number of periods, we've got 10, comma, then we're going to link to, again, uh, payment field, we want zero because that would be for a series of cash flows, annuities, again, chapter 6. Our present value is, I'm going to put that as a negative, negative 1,000, comma, and our future value will be 5,000, close parenthesis. And we have our rate of 17.5%. Again, if we want to use the function wizard, this time let's use that to calculate our number of periods. We've got, click on your FX button. Come down till we find the in period function. There's in period. Hit OK. Our rate, again, 10%. Our payment, we've got no annual payments, zero. Our future value, let's enter that as a negative amount, so negative. Click on the present value field. Our future value is 5,000. And we see that it would take roughly 17 years for our $1,000 investment to grow to $5,000 if we could earn a 10% interest rate. 